y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for an apartment renovation so today we're doing something okay it's not like different but kind of is if you have watched any of my speedbos you know that i don't do much of modern style builds or interior just because um i just don't see much of it now, don't get me wrong i really do like i think it's so pretty uh i'm pretty uh i'm not i'm not very good okay i'm, I'm I'm pretty bad. I mean, I'm not bad, but I'm not familiar with building modern style houses. So instead of trying to build a modern style house, I decided, you know what? Let's just renovate an apartment modern style because it's been a minute since I've renovated an apartment. And also this weekend, I will be working on one of our Sims 3 to Sims 4 houses, which is kind of modern. So um, I'll still kind of be doing modern even though I'm copying something which makes it a little bit easier so anyways yeah today like I said we are doing this apartment renovation we are in the art district um I forget which apartment this is you know me I every time I do this every time I forget and as I'm watching <laughs> this edit as I do this voiceover I cannot read which apartment this is but I do know it's in the art district and I decided to go for the arts district because it just got the vibe that it'd be more modern so I think this house or not a house um, I guess it's, it's a home it's not a house this apartment turned out really really nice I really do like it. I think it's so cute and I definitely want to use it in the future I'm a fan of the color scheme the blue and the white and the gray so pretty it really is I love it <laughs> and the idea behind this apartment or the family is young adults their young parents I furnished the rooms for a child girl and a toddler boy but the fun thing about this when I went into the the build to build it I kind of had in mind I want this to be a modern family home that's why I kind of picked a more spacious apartment to build in but I was not planning on doing this <laughs> I ended up putting like this little closet room as you can see right there behind the living room off to the dining room um just because I felt like the living room would have been so big like a lot of space to fill up so at first I was like you know what I can make this like a little office maybe the dad's into business or maybe the mom's in social media and they just need a little workspace to get away from the kids but then I was thinking and I watch a lot of YouTube not only do I watch a lot of simmers but you know I watch a lot of vloggers and you know family vlogs and stuff like that so I kind of got inspired and I thought maybe this family this mom and dad are YouTube famous or you know coming up well known in the YouTube world and they film videos and they do like vlogs you know like mommy vlogs and you know stuff like that um, cleaning with me you know y'all know those women that do vlogs like that I love to watch that <laughs> uh, I think I'm definitely gonna like it a lot more once I have my baby but I still like to watch it and kind of get like an inspiration to get my life together. So yeah, I imagine that this mom is just a doll. You know, she's very, very cute. Her husband's very handsome. They have beautiful little children and, you know, she loves her family so, so, so much. And she loves her apartment. She loves to clean. She loves to keep it nice. She likes to decorate. And she started vlogging, you know, sharing, you know, about her pregnancies and stuff like that. And then she just kind of took off from there. And, you know, she introduced her husband to the YouTube world or whatever. And they started making videos together. So I imagine that's how the family kind of makes their income. So that's why I put that little youtube okay i call it youtube it's not really called like the youtube computer desk thing here in um the game but y'all know what i'm talking about that's basically what it is uh that's why i put that there just kind of got inspired off of a whim there so yeah i think it's a really cute idea but i think their house turned out really nice or their apartment now the kitchen um I love <laughs> but right here you see me struggling a little bit with how I'm going to do this this counter and this island and I end up completely changing it um, 
because I just didn't like the way it kind of jutted out so I ended up like pushing it back and make it more you'll see you'll see what I'm talking about but yeah I don't know I never ever 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 I think this is probably no joke the first time I have ever ever used those cabinets because I don't do a lot of modern like I said and that color scheme you know the white and the blue is just not something that I usually like gravitate towards when I'm building because it does kind of remind me of something more modern obviously but I think it turned out so freaking cute and that's why I love this apartment so much it's just young like it just reminds me of a young couple which they are and I didn't want to make it too cluttered and you know like I said too lived in because I imagine that she would keep it very clean and very put together you know she has a lot of time I mean she she records herself oh you know what I forgot to put in this build y'all need to do this if you're gonna download this and you're gonna follow the little storyline I have for this family make sure you get a drone because I, I always forget about the stinking drones but you're probably gonna need a drone to add there with the little YouTube creator desk area because like I said I imagine she would do like cooking with me cleaning with me stuff like that so she's gonna need a drone to follow her around but yeah I imagine that she would keep her house very nice very clean very put together because you know that's what she kind of does for a living but yeah anyways this house is really cute <laughs> how many times have I said this house is really cute it's kind of like my filler and it's so annoying I'm so sorry but <laughs> anyways this apartment y'all the whole reason I did an apartment honestly was because I didn't get a lot of time to do a pr lot of pre-recording this week so I'm pushing it like I'm pushing it trying to get everything out and keep it on track so I was like no I need to do an apartment I need to do something like quick so it's not gonna take me too long well it took me like two days to kind of do it because I kind of uh, I don't know I just get in moods where I'm like oh, okay like push through Carissa push through um, and that's kind of, I got in the mood, I got in a bad mood doing this, <laughs> this apartment. So the editing, it took me literally forever in like five days <laughs> to freaking get this edited because I would pause it. I would stop in the middle of like scrolling through stuff. I was just like scrolling through stuff, looking at stuff. And I was like, oh my goodness, so obnoxious. So I ended up cutting out a lot of it. And anyways, I think I need to start doing that in more of my speed builds because I have a habit of when I turn on show hidden objects or debug, I kind of just like scroll through or I get really indecisive with stuff and I will show you me going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Some of you might like that, but honestly, I do just think it looks a lot smoother when I'm editing to like kind of go back and just watch it kind of flow and me not like struggle so I'm gonna try to start doing that um, but yeah it took me a long time to edit so honestly that's why I don't do it often I usually just leave it all in there because I'm lazy <laughs> but anyways this apartment does have a little laundry room right here which is super cute and this floor plan you guys I'm so proud of myself because Usually when it comes to apartments, I suck at floor plans because with houses, when I do speed builds, I'm copying a floor plan. <laughs> you know that by now. I, I, no shame, no shame at all. But anyways, usually for apartments, um, I'll either go to Pinterest, <laughs> fun fact, and look at apartments in The Sims 4 and kind of copy floor plans that other people have like shared to Pinterest or Tumblr. Now I obviously try not to, I'm not, I'm not going to copy like the whole thing, like the style and re-upload it because that's just like copyright basically but I do like not gonna lie I do steal the floor plan sometimes just because there's you're limited right but anyways back to bragging on myself I came up with this floor plan all on my own and you might have seen this before <laughs> but maybe not because I really like how I incorporated the pillars right there in the entryway I think it looks so nice and I just can't believe I came up with that on my own I mean I'm just getting so good at building I'm just kidding y'all <laughs> don't take me seriously when I brag on myself like that I'm being super sarcastic just so you guys know but anyways I ended up changing the tiling right here in the bathrooms um, also by the way if you want to download this apartment and you don't like the little computer YouTube area like I said you can change it to whatever you want it to be like a little hobby room or whatever or if you wanted to use it a 
make it a bathroom you could do that as well it's a really really small small room but I ended up incorporating closets into the bedrooms as well I think I've mentioned this in the past few speed builds that I've done I've been really loving incorporating closets into my builds especially more big builds because it takes up space fun fact pro tip and kind of makes me less stressed when it comes to filling up space Whew. but anyways yeah so throughout the house you can recognize I kind of went with the same theme which was pretty much white gray and blue um, so that's what the parents room kind of flows from the living and everything so I think it looks really really nice and like I said I imagine she like makes herself you know look presentable all the time because honestly I would never be a vlogger because I just feel like okay unless you're Emma Chamberlain which I love Emma Chamberlain love her so much <laughs> she is just so carefree she doesn't care she just she's perfectly imperfect okay she never wears makeup she doesn't care what she looks like but most people who vlog they always have their hair done have their makeup done you know they're, they're looking presentable and I imagine that she would do the same so I gave her that little makeup area and I gave her and her husband a little treadmill I feel like they would obviously eat healthy when she did her cook with me videos it was all healthy meals for your family and stuff I mean they're just goals they're just trying to be goals so yeah that's why I gave them a little fitness um, treadmill there so they have a little something to do I mean I know this is the city so you can't really like go jogging around the neighborhood uh, you can go jogging down the street but if I live in the city I wouldn't do that because I watch way too many true crime documentaries <laughs> but anyways yeah and the kids bedroom as you were going to see in a few I ended up kind of obviously I try to go with the modern style throughout the whole house but I did give the girls room of pink wallpaper and the boy like a light blue wallpaper um, so yeah, I don't know. I think it turned out really, really cute. But anyways, update on the pregnancy because I have always told you guys I'm going to keep updating you because y'all keep acting like y'all care. <laughs> I'm going to keep talking about it because I am so excited. <laughs> so today that you are seeing this, it is Friday, correct? Okay, so not this Friday that you're watching this or the next, but the next, like two Fridays from now. I am finding out what the baby is. Is it going to be a boy? Is it going to be a girl? I don't know. I'm so excited, but I don't know if I talked about this, but I'm impatient. Me and Todd are both very impatient people, which is kind of good. Uh, well, I don't know. It's kind of bad because you kind of, sometimes you need some balance, <laughs> but we are both very impatient, so... I don't know I'm, I'm kind of happy because I was kind of nervous at first I was like I know I don't want to do a gender reveal the normal way like I can't wait to know I don't want to go to an ultrasound and then them share the results with somebody else and then me find out another way like in front of everybody you know how gender reveals usually work um, I'm also a very sentimental person and so is Todd we're kind of like down to earth and <laughs> like very sentimental and you know, I was just thinking you know I want to know obviously like right then and there when we do the ultrasound but also I kind of want to share that moment with Todd selfishly just me and him because you know, obviously it's both of our first child we're so excited so so excited um, so what we're gonna do is two Fridays from now we're going to a little sneak a peek it's called sneak a peek here in my hometown and we are going to find out what the baby is and we will know and then the next Sunday I'm going to do a gender reveal party for our family and friends um, so we are going to know but nobody else is going to know and some people have been telling me I'm doing it wrong uh, and it's kind of pissed me off <laughs> I've noticed I haven't even had this baby yet and people are trying to like boss me around and tell me what's right and wrong like don't do that that's just it's annoying and I understand the struggle I've seen parents complain about it all the time but I, I'm I haven't even had my baby yet and people are just trying to tell me what to do but this is the way I'm gonna do it it's just as exciting for me to tell my family because it's the first grandbaby on both sides all of our friends are so excited so everybody's gonna be so excited to find out what it is who cares if we already know it's a surprise for us Friday come Friday it's gonna be surprise boy girl okay well Sunday we're gonna surprise everybody else so we're going to be just having a little family friend get together at the house and we're going to have like a little food whatnot like little finger snacks and then we're going to do the smoke bomb reveals which is like 24 inch smoke cannon which is huge and it's so pretty I'm so excited so <gasps> y'all anyways I'm excited <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't know. I think, or hey, I thought it was a boy for the longest time. Now I have no idea what it is. It could be a girl. It very well could be a girl. 
and I wouldn't be mad. I, I really do want a boy first, but I want a boy and a girl, so if I got the girl first, I wouldn't be too disappointed. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, I don't know what it is, and it's just killing me. <laughs> so, of course, once I share it with family Sunday, I will probably share the little video of us revealing it or pictures or whatever to you guys on Twitter. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, be sure to follow me on there because it's going to be so exciting and y'all are my friends. So just pretend like y'all care, which y'all do care. Y'all are so great. I love you guys so much. <laughs> but yeah, that's the update on the pregnancy. I'm 14 weeks today and I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good. My belly's starting to show. I'm starting to get uncomfortable. I'm hungry all the time. I'm craving fruit like a crazy person. I'm peeing all the time. But other than that, I'm feeling good. I am excited and I'm just, I'm loving life. <laughs> but anyways, yes, so that's it for the update and the baby back to our little renovation here. This bathroom is my favorite, probably. I think it is so cute. I have never done this with a cabinet where I kind of like put a catty, catty corner, you know, how it, co the corner cabinet, you know what I'm talking about? I don't think I've ever done that in a bathroom, but it was spacious enough that I could work with it, and I think it turned out really, really cute. But anyways, you guys, this build is wrapping up, so if you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not, and it is available for download on the gallery. It does not include any custom content, but of course, it is uploaded as a room to the gallery, so the doors to each room will be deleted so if you download it make sure you go back into build mode and replace those walls behind the door so you don't have like you know a hole in the wall pretty much but anyways thank you guys so much for watching love y'all and i'll talk to y'all later bye